Yeah, good morning YouTube. So I've got my EP Solar charge controller running here and let's see we're getting about 500 watts coming in 35 volts and 14.4 amps or I think we've hit the end of the boost charge phase I was running upwards of about 16 and a half amps just a while ago and then I grabbed the camera and it dropped off here I've got two 335 watt panels feeding the charge controller so that's 670 total and we hit about 530 I think was the the highest I saw and so we're putting about 30 amps into the batteries right now and you can see we're maxed out at the 16.2 volts right there that's the maximum charging voltage so let's take a look over here I'll show you what I've added to the system yeah there we can see that a little better so we've got 15.7 volts at the battery that's the top line and then we're doing 14 amps into the battery that's the third line down and we've got 12.48 amps of DC load running that's the bottom line and then we're bringing in 10 amps on the solar panel so this charge controller is pretty much bringing in the peak current of the solar panels so the SBMS 120 is bringing in pretty much the peak current those panels are rated I think short circuit current is like 10.5 amps and we're bringing in 10.05 and you can see there that looks like cell group number two the highlighted one on the top there is the high voltage and then the low cell is number eight which is 3.918 so we're about 18 millivolts out of balance and I just checked the trimetric and it's saying 77% charged. So I'm not sure what the SBMS uses for this state of charge. I think it goes by the voltage and not so much on the amp hours in and out of the battery. Still trying to figure that out, but it, it looks like it's charging full blast. And so I've got the external connections here. These are the analog to digital input for an external current shunt. And then there's some additional lines there that I don't have hooked up. But let me show you what those look like here. Yeah, so we've got a bit of a wiring mess down here, but it turns out the SBMS needs the current shunt between the battery which this is my battery positive cable and any external loads which are down on my positive bus it wants the shunt in the positive lead now the trimetric wants the shunt in the negative lead so this way I'm able to get a shunt for the trimetric down there and then a shunt for the SBMS up here kind of strange but that's the way it's supposed to be wired that's one of the reasons I wanted to set all of this stuff up here to figure out the, how everything has to go together and so what I did here was I set myself up a terminal strip with all eight of the external inputs so here's my external shunt here on the bottom and then I believe there's a temperature sensor which I need to pick up one of those and then I think there's two additional external triggers here so you can turn things on and off based on state of charge voltage things like that so ultimately I want to try to get all these other signals worked out but I figured I'd break out all the signals off of the charge controller right here and then I've got a cable and a little connector running down to the shunt. So probably the next thing I'll do is get an external temperature sensor and hook it up, up to the ne next set of terminals there. But with this external shunt, the SBMS is able to see the charge current coming in from the EP solar charger down here. 
it's able to see the current that's flowing into my AC power inverter and then I also have these uh, two wires here coming from my iCharger 1010 battery charger so I can power the iCharger off of here and measure that current and then I can also do regenerative discharges and pump current back into the battery so that way the SBMS can see all of that because everything has to go through this shunt here to get in or out of the batteries but anyway for right now I figure I'm gonna run the EP solar charge controller in parallel with the SBMS so yeah, even though this charge controller is able to max out that solar panel at 10 amps, that's only at 16 volts. So even though I've pegged the solar panel, I'm only getting 160 watts out of that single panel, and it's rated at 335 watts. Because I'm running this at 16 volts, I'm losing half of the solar panel output. Now this one being an MPPT charge controller is able to take in uh, right now we're doing 36 volts at 12 amps from the two panels and he's putting out over 500 watts into the batteries so I'm putting out 27 amps into the battery down here versus 10 amps up there so I'm getting a lot more power out of this charge controller but he doesn't know anything about balancing the groups of cells so I figure I'm going to leave this charge controller to do the balancing and all of the lithium battery stuff and this guy is just my bulk charger now if I go to 24 volts I'm probably just going to use this charge controller only because at 24 volts he'll be able to do much better job because I, I won't be losing as much power so like at 28 volts and 10 amps I'd be getting 280 watts out of the solar panels this one I might get maybe a little over 300 watts so I'm not losing much at 24 volts but at 16 volts I'm losing quite a bit of power but for now I'll keep this guy running as my bulk charger and I'll run this one as my balance charger and they seem to uh, be happy running together but yeah so far everything's working nice the heat sink here uh, that I made is keeping that uh, charge controller cold I mean it's just cold to the touch so the heat sinks working really well yeah, and if you have any questions about the uh, SBMS 120, I'll maybe do another video, show you how I have it set up. I didn't have to do a lot of changes in it because uh, Dason sets these up for 4 volts per cell on the lithium cobalt setting. So I really didn't, I only had to change one parameter, or actually two parameters, I guess. And I'll show you those, and then I had to change one parameter for the uh, 200 amp shunt that I have. So I'll show you that in a separate video. And if you have any questions, uh, post up in the comments section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.